video, we're going to work with the photo survey node. The purpose of this node is to create a point cloud that is based on the features that are going to be collected based on the images that we fed in the image input node. Those point clouds later on are going to be the basis of everything that comes next. So let's see how to do that. Going back to the create, and now still under the photogrammetry tab, I can take the photo survey. Click, drag, and it should connect to the image input. Let's turn off the grid for now. And the first thing we need to do is to go into the camera tab and read the EXIF information from each and every image. So if I stand on the first image, I can click on read EXIF, and in here, I can accept the information that is stored in every JPEG file. So I'm going to click on accept on the first image. And since the series of images was taken with different focal length, the PF track is warning me, telling me that the focal length is varying throughout the clip. And it's asking me, should I set the camera to variable focal length? I would say yes. And now I can go into the lens distortion and also ask it to estimate the low order. At this point, we're ready to go. Now we can go into the point matching. The point matching will basically try to go frame by frame, or should I say picture by picture, and try to find matching points that represent the same feature. So it could find points in the same images that represent, let's say, this warning sticker. Before we click on the auto match, you need to remember that you can also set up a starting frame and an end frame, and you can also choose which one of the channels can be included or excluded. So I'm gonna click on the auto match and we'll be right back. As I scrub through the timeline, I see that there's points that are being detected and being matched to the feature that keeps repeating itself in each and every one of those images, which is exactly what we wanted to have. Now that means that the software is going to find all these images that it found, and then it's going to build a point cloud. Let's go into the camera solver and click on solve all. Now this might take a few minutes, depends on your computer settings and hardware. So I'm gonna click on solve all and we'll be right back. Now each image is now represented by its own camera that floats within the 3D space. We can see that the general shape of the point cloud does represent what we saw in the photos, but there are certain points that had been put in areas that they're not supposed to be there. For example, this point. So I'm going into the point editing. Now I'm going to take the marquee tool, select the points that are not in the right place, and I can remove them or basically delete. So I'm gonna go with delete. I'll select these two points, they're not supposed to be here, and delete again. Let's close the marquee tool, and let's take a look again at our scene. At this point, I can go back into the camera solver and just click on refine. So I'm gonna refine the solution and see that there's no more changes. And actually, there's another point here that I didn't see. So I can take the marquee and hit the delete button. I can also scrub through the images themselves and see if I can find points that turn red. For example, right here. So I can click on marquee, select this point, and either remove it or just hit delete. So once I go through all these images and I'm trying to find out points such as these two, then I can definitely go back and refine my solution. The better the points are, the better the geometry is going to be at the end. So let's click on solve all and we're gonna be right back. So the photo survey node is a pretty important node that was able to take all the 2D information that was gathered from the images and then generate a point cloud. Now you gotta bear in mind that this point cloud is not exactly a mesh that is supposed to be in 3D space. This is gonna be our next step. So in the next video, we're gonna work with the photo mesh node.